In this video, we will learn about Ansible variables. So, what is Ansible variables and why we are using variables inside our Ansible playbook and what are the what are the main use cases? So, actually you can use variables in Ansible place to store values like um, users to create, packages to install, uh, or, or all those kind of informations or the passwords, uh, secrets, etc. So by using when, uh, variables, you can manage your place with the dynamic input values. That means you don't need to edit your playbook every time. Instead, you use the variable and you can pass it externally or you can fetch the details from some locations. Uh, when you create the variables, always remember do not use the space. It's not allowed. So you can use underscore or hyphen. It's okay, but always use try to use the underscore and always use the meaningful name. Then you can uh, use uh, underscore I already mentioned, but do not use dot because uh, you will be in trouble or it's invalid. Then uh, do not start with uh, number and space. You can try something like this web server underscore one. And one more example is something like do not use a special characters other than the hyphen. You can use something like router underscore ip underscore 101 like that. So this variable thing uh, you can define in three scopes. One is a global scope, means you can set variables in Ansible configuration or via the command line. The second one is a play scope, means you put variables inside the play. And the third one is a host scope. Host scope means you set the variables for host or groups inside the inventory. Uh, or something like a fact gathering or registered task. Okay, we will go through some uh, examples for the variables uh, right now. So let's create a new directory called mkdir variable demo. CD variable demo. Okay, uh, we will just copy some files in dot dot slash playbook demo inventory to here slash playbook uh, demo and cpcfg to here and cp slash playbook slash site.ml to here so we are just copying the existing files we have used for the earlier demos this is just a configuration file where we mentioned the inventory and the remote user remote user is devops and uh, we also have a uh, inventory with uh, two nodes and we have the playbook site.yml so which we have these details like installing HTTPD, uh, install firewall d and open ports etc now we have to try with the variables so i already mentioned we have three ways to define variable one is a global scope another one is a play scope and host scope so global scope means you put variable inside the Ansible configuration or via the command line using ext external external or extra variable. I don't know, we will learn later. So now we will learn about the play scope and host scope. So in the play scope means we have this site.yml. So what you have to do here, we are installing uh, packages called HTPD, then we are installing uh, firewall D, then we enable the services, all those items. Let's say you want to include these items as variable instead of uh, mentioned here because you have http mentioned here you have http mentioned here and there are so many places and if something changed like instead of httpd if your service or the package is different like nginx or something of course you have to replace it everywhere so what you can do here i am using like wars then i put okay web underscore package is httpd good now firewall underscore okay you can give any name but always try to give the meaningful one sorry firewall okay so i have the variable called web package and firewall package so what i have to do here instead of the value i replace it with web i will explain this and firewall 
package okay now i have two variables defined and i use that here uh why we have used the curly bracket because the curly bracket i will inform or it will identify this is a variable and if you are using the variable as a start of this uh, line then always use the quotes if you are using the variable here you don't need to use the double quote so you can directly use like web package and firewall package you can use that you don't need to put the double quote okay let's try this one and simple playbook side dot yaml okay so you can see we have replaced this one uh, you can see th this is already replaced with the actual value of the variable good hope it's clear so we will go some more details so um we have some more values side dot yaml then and okay the web service so what we are we have here is um, a web underscore service is um httpd firewall underscore service is firewall d okay so we have two more variables for the services so instead of uh, enabling and start httpd i will use like is enable and start web service good then i also the name is uh just for the name i mean just to identify which task is running right now so here instead of http i give like st sorry web underscore service and firewall service okay so we are good to put it here also so we have replaced with the proper variable run it again okay good let's say if you have more and more variables and you don't want to manage this variable list inside your play so what you can do is we will move this variable list to another file okay now we will create a file called wars.yml and we would like web underscore package HTPD web underscore service HTPD firewall underscore package firewall D then we have firewall underscore service firewall D so uh, we have to define separately because sometimes you know the service name and the package name will be different maybe different so okay now we have file called words okay good size to dml and we are going to remove this item spray from here instead you can use words underscore files and you put words.yml Because we have moved those variable details outside of the playbook and you try this again so this is very simple and I will explain one more item so you can use words you learn how to use words you learn how to use words underscore files and let's say you don't want to use here instead you can use a task called let's say you have a you have to call by task 
you can go like okay in include words then you use the modules module uh, and the name is include underscore words and you mention words sorry words dot yml that's it okay so you learn how to include the variable how to create the variable inside the playbook outside the playbook and how to include that so you can use words or words file or use include words okay and you also learn how to use the variable inside your play so you can insert like this that's all for this video watch all the videos for details and uh, comment if you have any questions or clarifications needed and thank you for watching see you next time with another video